Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button. Hello, hi, hi, hi. Welcome to yet again another episode of my friend zone series. Today's episode is episode number two. So if you haven't watched the first episode, stop this video this instant and go back and watch it. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe down below. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the seven signs that you have been friend zoned. Sign number one is you are your friend's very, very favorite chaperone and sidekick. If your friend is a guy, when he's going to fish for some birds, he's going to go with you. If your friend is a girl and she feels like, okay, I'm feeling sexy tonight, I'm feeling good today, let me go and get somebody, they want to go with you. The second and very, very obvious sign is your friend tells you everything about their partner, their crushes, and their dates. They don't mind telling you this because you are strictly a close friend or strictly just a friend to them so telling you about their dates or telling you about who they have a crush on they're expecting you as a friend to help them strategize so they can get the person that they want so they do not want you like that they want you as a friend and most probably as an advisor since they're telling you about their crushes the third and another obvious sign again is they constantly want to hook you up with someone by hookup, I am talking about there's a new guy in the hood. They're going to be like, friends, I think you should make a move. If it is a guy friend, they'll be constantly be telling you, I think you should do this. I think you should do that. Wants to see their friend happy. So this is an innocent way of telling you, I think you need a man. Or I think you need a woman in your life. Sign number four is they do not mind looking crusty around you at all crusty af at all they don't mind at all if you go to their house in the morning they don't even wash their face before they come to see you they don't even brush their teeth they just hello friend and they're hugging you with the morning breath and the hair not done and the funny stuff on their face because they just woke up you know they just don't mind looking crusty around you because you are their friend you are more or less their comfort zone so they don't mind they know you also don't mind but if you like them yeah you must probably gonna mind why <laughs> you ask yourself why are they not putting an effort to make themselves look better around me because you must probably be making the effort to look good around them and they just don't have nothing sign number five is you are their shoulder to cry on. When they are heartbroken, when they are rejected by their crush, you are their go-to guy. They want you to comfort them. They don't mind being vulnerable around you because you are their friend. They feel like, oh, my friend will understand me. Oh, my friend is always there for me. You are their shoulder to cry on. But sometimes when you have a problem and you want them to be your shoulder, they are just not there. Sign number six is when you guys plan on going out, even if it is just the two of you, they bring other people with. This is in their heads, the more the merrier. But in your head, it is, oh no, we have more people invading our privacy. Just because you wanted that moment for you guys to just be alone, they don't mind bringing other people because you're now gonna be a squad and a crew and things are gonna vibe and you're gonna vibe together with the other people they don't think now nah, it should just be the two of us they're like mm -mm. the more the merrier come on along let us go for coffee let us go for whatever let us go for movies they want to bring other people with the seventh and final sign that i have for you guys today is your friend never adjust for you the adjustment I'm talking about here is time. They never adjust their time for you. Yes, you are friends. Yes, you meet up. Yes, you hang out. But they never put their actual efforts to adjust their time for you. 
if you guys are supposed to meet up they will be there but if you ask them to have an emergency meet up they won't adjust for you this is your friend just thinking ah, ah we just friends so i will meet them later or i will do this for them later and they never see the urgency of you wanting them to be there for you so guys if you have observed any of the signs in your friendship with someone and you do think okay i think we are friends and i have been the one who has been friend zoned like that i think you should comment down below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like my content don't forget to subscribe guys thanks for watching Mwah.